We'll see. Um, all right, <laughs> with all the voting done, let's get into it. They start on Yoshi. Interesting. Yeah, I can't tell if it's lagging on my screen or theirs. Probably mine, I gotta say. Yeah, Yoshi's is interesting because it's... I don't know, I feel like this is not that bad for ICs. I, you know what, I've given up. I'm trying to figure out how stages work. Yeah, whatever. Oh, that get-up attack actually splits up the Ice Climbers for Mike Hayes, and he manages to close out Nana so procedurally. That was literal optimal killing of Nana. That was so good. Fantastic. Yeah, I mean, part of, like, beating ICs is just making the punish hard. Like, your get-up attack, hard rolls, going to ledge when, like, they can't really cover it unbelievably well. There are a lot of practical things you can do to make their life just like terrible. Ooh, we may have been talking about Null's Gallant not being great, but Mike Hayes' ledge dash was so good. It doesn't matter though, because Army spaces around, well actually just counter hits him out of the shine, and then he's so ready for the side B on stage. Oh man, the mix-ups on throw when you've got like one of them grabbed are kind of intricate and I forget how they work. Diz did a great video on it, but like you really just have to worry because they can, you know, there are different strategies for different throws, right? Timing invincibility with the other character, doing whatever. It's like a huge mix-up. And if the Fox does the same thing over and over again, the ICs do have a procedural way to get an advantage. So we are already seeing one of the mix-ups that I think is going to be hugely important in this whole set. I will talk about it while Army finishes this wobble. It is full Army. hop up air from Army, Army right. to counter Mike Hayes going on the platforms, right? He has been full hop up airing to catch Mike Hayes going to top platform over and over. You can see it right there. And actually the way that that wobble, that whole bullying started before is Army waited till the last second and Mike Hayes still jumped when he was right in front of Army. So so it's, it's really huge because it stops Fox momentum, keeps him in the corner, and that's exactly what Army wants. So one thing Mike's been doing really well is holding down versus Icy's aerials, especially low percent. They do yeah. not have any sauce or heat on them, with the exception of maybe a nicely spaced back air. air. Oh, or fair. Air air. Wow. Oh no, he got wow. it. He just he calls him. the run in. He got his ass. So if we extrapolate to what we were just talking about in the mix-up of going to top platform, well, how does Fox beat that? He actually yeah. just runs to center, right? And then he's underneath the Icy's who have full hopped, and he manages to just kill them. Wow, beautiful execution. Nice. Like and I mean execution in both ways right there. She was executed. Uh, but but Army calls out the run to center, and then yeah. he just grabs my case, right? So, so yeah. God. Yeah, got him. Yeah, I was gonna say, this matchup is really weird here. Nana goes for Yoshi's, but you know, it's also claustrophobic, right? So you're talking about those mix-ups. It's hard to stay away from the mix-up if you are Fox, right? You don't really get to disengage. There's no one on the stage that's, oh, I'll get grabbed off that. I would've lost my shit. Oh, oh ooh, Mike Hayes strapping. He splits him up with the drill shine, splits him up again, and he killed Nana this time. There she's yeah, gone. Yeah. A badly DI'd down smash here, and the game is over. He gets a good DI. From what I see on my Great screen, but he gets from Army. Back. 103. I think even a good amazing. DI down smash will do it. That was amazing from Army. That was really good. He clo closed. Yeah. What can you say? He closed it out with his popo, right? Oh, you know, it's an edge guard. I'm not going to give him that much credit, but it, no, it was a great game. Neutral. He came ready to play. Uh, the punishes. He had a lot of explosivity where he would just like instantly threaten to grab you. Yeah, and it's it's hard to be used to that, right? If you haven't played Army in a little bit. It, it, it was really an interesting game because I feel like both players executed what they wanted to do really, really well. I mean, Mike yeah. Hayes was killing Nana very, very quickly. There were entire stocks where I was in the middle of some tangent about how good Army was. And then Mike Hayes just killed Ices, killed Nana, and then up throw up aired the Popo. Uh, but then Army's read on Mike Hayes' movement was amazing. One of the scariest things about this matchup at the high level is that there can be conceivably like six or seven interactions that matter per game, right? Yeah. Just because yeah. of the way that they both punish. Oh, okay. So the get-up attack and um, fair will stagger Fox. Maybe not a great phrase, but I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy. He's dead. Mike is dead. That was... <laughs> Huge over That was some honestly. silly stuff. That was, that was really great. No, honestly, if you're Mike, most of the time you escape this taking like another 20% and you probably kill Popo. Yeah, the I character... mean, Mike is so good against Popo that honestly that early percent kill doesn't seem like it's as bad for him as it might be against someone else. I think he might just take 2% actually. Yeah, he probably back throws here. Oh, he goes for up throw and then tries to snipe. I'm surprised he didn't get the hold down, uh, hold down up smash there. Yeah, but you can see Mike Mike just absolutely brutalizes Sopo in that situation. So it, it really highlights how important the fact that he's getting these quick mana kills is. And really, he's closed it out on Popo 
every time except that last stock that ended the game before this. They are coming out a lot. Army's fares are doing double time right now. They're one of the only moves that like will hit conceivably. Great save, but Anna will grab ledge. Mike goes for a safe shine. I like it because it doesn't kill, but it still keeps the pressure up, and he doesn't end up in one of those reversal scenarios. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna get grabbed. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Ex <laughs> good instincts. He knew yeah, the air dodge was really smart for Mike there. Yeah. One thing that's actually tricky is like getting get up attacked by Nana. Mike does oh, not wow, time the correctly the on the up B and gets hit by the end of the belay. Yeah. Wow. Harmony's holding down game really nice, getting that Nair at 80. It's very rare that like raw Nair really helps you out that much in this matchup. Even mm -hmm. raw bear can be really tricky because. All right, so he lasers Nana to unscale the moves. Really smart. Yeah. Oh, raw wobble. Good stuff yeah. from Army. Uh, I think something else that was really good by Mike Hayes there in the last end of that last stock was that so usually he's going to try and kill Nana early, right? But sometimes he's just going to get both of the Ice Climbers to a high percent. And in that situation, you saw that he actually target switched to Poco because he was like, if I tech chase you without Nana backing you up, I'm just going to win the stock now, right? So yeah. good recognition. Beautiful save, honestly. It was pretty low. Um, there are some spots here where you can just start going for Popo, but like, why do you can just manage to... Oh, if that DI was incorrect, that was a wobble. Great for Mike. Yep. I think that DI platform. was incorrect. I think Army yeah. just missed, missed out on, you know, he screwed up his wave dash. Full hop back here. It's risky. I swear it's risky with Fox. Great shine. Gets the synced, uh, sync side B. That was weird. Like, Fox been trying to tech chase him enough for Nana to get back. Yeah, so full uh, short hop bear out of shield is coming. That was really interesting by Mike to just roll through it. Nice. Okay, right, cleans up Nana. Popo pretty dead. Get the shine, just you know, get some stuff on stale. See if you can land a clean drill. Oh my god, Falling. look at Mike Hayes in the center of these ice climbers, just scrap it with up air and drill. Mm hmm Good instincts to bail out. Add two spots there. Mike playing it safe. Oh, I thought he had like, what you want as Fox is if the Icy's jump, you want to be below them. Right. And he just barely gets clipped in the wrong way. Whoa! Bit of a miscue. Oh, no! What? Is she gonna, is she gonna help out here? Okay, good shortened by Mike Hayes to end what would have been a huge clip-worthy moment from RV. One of the most nuts-ass freestyles of the year would have been. What was he doing? Why was he... Why was he refreshing like that? I don't know, man. Please. Can't answer these questions. Mike looks a little bit less sharp than we saw him in in pools, I suppose. But we got a lot of melee left to go. Oh, Nana Blaze! That actually helps him out because <laughs> Sopo did not need any help getting back. There. Okay. Yeah. There's no reason to risk it, but you can like almost just go for Sopo there. I think. I think. I think Mike was really cognizant yeah. that Nana was dead, that Army was right. too low, and that she was going to bounce off, and he's displayed that he's so, so good against Sopo. The only time that he hasn't gotten the better of Sopo was at the end of that last game, and it was because he took a counter hit while he was killing Nana, and he was at super high percent, and it was on Yoshi's story. So I, I think he's always fine to just play the long game against, against the Sopo. I agree. He knows he has such an advantageous position that he can't ever, you know, avoid that. So we are going to final for the first time in the set. Army yeah. can go to final twice. If he wins this game and wins a game three somewhere else, he can go back to final. But if Mike limits it and he wins four two, then we don't have to play a potential game seven if that happens that way on final. So it's really tricky here, right? Because, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I guess I said it, right? Mike kind of wants to run the table after this counter pick if he loses on final. Yeah, exactly. But it but uh, it, it could be unlikely that happens because one of the stages that Army will get a chance to win on would be his counter pick in no matter what situation we get. But a get up right. attack, oh. Mike thought maybe that that was going to push the Ice Climbers for far away enough, but it just wasn't enough. They slide a little bit, but uh, they've got those snow boots for a reason. They That's still managed to get the crap scenarios, right? Like, are they going to ASDI? Are they going to full hold down? What percentage are they at? Are we going to get the knockdown on Nana? A lot of variables here to kind of stake your life on. There you see he's going for down throw on Nana in that spot. Kind of forgot the intricacies there and jab grab. Oh, goes for the rich boy rich, but my case partly DI's the up smash off stage. 
I don't, don't think Army was quite set up for a true wobble there, which is why he went for the up smash. Um, and my case actually died everything correctly after that to not get re-grabbed. It was really nice. Woof, One another thing just doing well. grab on the run oh, Jesus Christ. I was going to say, Mike's doing a good thing where like he'll knock Nana to ledge, he'll wait for Nana to get up, then a lot of people will shine there in the air and then get down smashed. He will then uh, like switch and go for Popo or stay safe, but it is yeah. already four stocks. His, his target switching has been really, really good this entire set. Uh, just knowing when the end lag is going to invite Popo to come in and then immediately switching to force him off and go back to doing the work on Nana. You know what I haven't seen in a while? The launch throw, like the, the launch Professor Pro F throw from Fox. Oh, tries to SDI, you know, he tries to RNG wobble. He's going to pick it up here, though. <gasps> oh, why? Oh, God, Arby. Oh, my God. And Nana taunts because she was feeling herself. Arby actually saves her, but no, no, no. She's gone. Big Mike F just sides her up. That's a good taunt. That's a very earned taunt. And Mike is going to do what he can to make the stock disappear. Fast yeah, I mean, I mean, we were joking about the taunt, but actually that sucks for Army so bad. Yeah, no, it's, it's so bad. He when lost that taunt. entire stock because of banana taunt. You just because Mike just shied her off and then he got to kill her and then he's so good against Sopo. <laughs> Mike is doing that fun little Tito, Peter cancel <gasps> turnaround thing. Okay, he ASDIs the jab in. Oh, he misses up the shine. Again, we're seeing a lot of down throw up smash to avoid the pummel at some percent. So that's going to be it. It doesn't matter. Mike quits out. I, I, the little screw up there from Mike, he had a drill that could have split them up, and given how good he's been and how proficient just like he is at killing the Nana in that shine. situation. Yeah, he. I think he spot dodged on accident is what actually I, happened. Yeah. Um, so that looked that looked rough. So Army is going to win on FD, which could right. have huge repercussions further in the set. We'll see. You know, I... We'll tell everyone Fox, my character beats Ices, but I don't think there's a really kill or counter pick, right? You have Battlefield where you can make their life really bad with some of the, you know, the blast zones, the top platform being high, the triplats are always good. Any triplat, you can really goof around with them a lot. But I feel like Ices having FD is just stronger than any, anything else. And we talked about it. Characters with polarizing counter picks probably have an advantage in a best of seven for a best yep. of seven. Okay, so it's going to be battlefield. battlefield. I think that makes sense given how the low, the short blast zones of Yoshi's actually ended up really hurting out Mike uh, when he went there. So this stage, very good for Fox. He's you. There's some spots where you just like can't jab Mike. You can't jab grab him because he's just DIing very, very well. Army with an interesting platform tech chase here. Getting a oh pretty my god, he read him so hard. He started charging oh. that down smash immediately after the throw. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, that's a big 93. There have been like two stocks where Sopo has made any sort of inroads into Mike. Ah, sad, SD. Oh, the drill doesn't split them up, and you can see when it doesn't split them up, Mike takes his time, right? He, he sort of waits. Yeah, and even there, I, I actually, you, you mentioned earlier Good. how some foxes will just hold down and shine when the Nana jump back, but then you're prone to getting down smashed or something. So yeah. Mike hasn't been doing that. That time he did it because he <laughs> knows if I die at 119%, whatever, this next stock is mine. I'm just going to kill him. I love Army just reading rolling as much as possible. I love the Swanton there because it just yeah. keeps him in the air long enough to juggle and actually finish off Army. So oh like, my god. He's caught him with that up smash, the anti-air up smash, so many times now. Because yeah. he, he what he does is he goes for the up throw up air, even at percents, it's certain not to work, just because he wants army to jump. And then Icy's are so floaty that it's it's really run of the mill to just take him out after that. Icy's hugely bad there. So like the funny thing about this is that Icy's will often exploit like a fox air uh, attack oh! movement line. Oh my god, Insane. that was so sick. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt you, but would have been beyond, <laughs> beyond freaky. So wild. But like, it feels like, as Fox, I'm often circle camping to try and exploit an Icy's movement flood. And by that, I mean like Nana getting desynced and then I shine her and then I shine her again and then she dies. Interesting. Do you feel like that's what Mike has been doing here or something a little different? Nah, I mean like Army's better than. <laughs> just, I don't know. It, it, but it's part of the management, right? Like, Army has to threaten Mike, but also keep Nana protected. And it Yo. goes both ways, right? Because then you can bait with the desyncs, it's a whole thing. 
Mike's trying to pop off a little bit uh, yeah. with side Bs. I think that was, he wanted a mid shorten on the platform and didn't get it. Again, the target switching there when he has uh, the Nana getting up from ledge, he hits the Popo instead. So, so good. Win. So like here we actually see it, right? This is all started from like just a, a war, you know, an errant air dodge or something like that, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, there he's gonna, he's gonna, yeah, target switch it. And he knows, he knows, he knows! He knows it's over. Oh my god. Yo, Mike Hayes, if there's a game to get you in the groove, if there's a Sauce. game to get you ready for your opponent's yeah. second FD counter pick later, it was that one. <laughs> yeah, we knew, it, we knew it was gonna be freaky. Good lord. Okay, so actually huge, huge game for Mike to win right now. Because yes. Army's gonna get a counter pick. And he needs to stop Army from having another FD counter pick, right? And if he does it this way, then yeah, okay. So if if Mike wins this, which will probably be on Stadium, then Army counter picks again, possibly to Stadium. If Mike loses that, he gets to pick Game Seven. If yeah. Mike loses this game, Army will then get to go back to a potential Game Seven FD. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. With so this said, game is huge, huge make or break for Mike. It needs to win on Army's counter pick uh, to avoid that second FD, like you said. Uh, and Stadium, while it's not FD, the neutral part of Stadium can be so, so brutal still for for yeah. climbers. It's so good because there's no triplats to circle camp with. The transformations, though, they're weird. Are pr usually pretty bad for ICs. Sometimes you can like bully ICs on the transformations, and then sometimes I approach them and I get up air oh. grab and I die. I'm gonna be back in 30 seconds. Found an interesting counter pick I like to do. Yeah, so actually it's F it's FOD, uh, not Pokemon Stadium, and Army all over Mike Hayes, not looking good for Mike Hayes' chances to not go to FD on game seven because Army reads that panic roll in, gets the wobble, and Mike Hayes is gonna start this game a full stop down. Oh man. Okay, look at the patience. That's the first down throw that he's taken in that situation. He's gonna kill Nana here, and actually, Mike Hayes looks like he might even this up really quickly if he plays this like he has been against the Popo. Oh, weird, weird, weird that he gets hit by that down smash. It looks like he flubbed movement a little bit there in general. Army just swinging that mallet, knows that Mike Hayes wants to approach, wants to How's get it as he can. Mike uh, oh, no. actually managed to kill Popo really quickly, or kill Nana really quickly after that. So it looks like he's gonna even it up. Yep, there we go. Miss Ledge Dash. 36% uh, is nothing to write home about. The second one of the set, maybe third. Not too bad. Game five already. Oh, uh, and he goes full in Ooh. with the shine. It's shine time. Ooh. Wow, he still gets that look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked hey, to me like Mike almost counter. hit the SDI too. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't know. That was weird. Our theory of SDI is harder on net play. It definitely looks right. Oh, Have no. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's big dead. Oh, no, he's not. Yeah, so he's respecting Mike's mash there, right? Now he's dead. Yeah, he's big dead. He's gonna get grabbed again, and there we go. Woo! Oh, oh he does it too early. Mike's gonna have a chance to live, but the double Mike's pay hammer is too hard to get around. But yeah, that's a, that's a tilting experience for Fox, because you just feel like the IC's messed up the one thing they're supposed to do, which is just hit you to 160 and then just finish you off. And he's still the dead weight from Nana prevents Mike from getting the up throw up air because Poco knocks into her. Okay, he's still gonna close it out really quickly. Takes a Have jab from Nana on the way out. Unsails with the lasers. He can still do this. Yeah, and Nana was at a pretty high uh, level there, so she's actually gonna jab and defend herself at some awkward spots. I'm surprised Mike decided to get that close. We're just trying to reduce risk. Great shine. He might actually kill. Oh, okay, goes for Poco. Army does a good job of. Poco. Yeah, going for Popo, actually, I, I I do get why he's doing it, and he's just going to nair off stage and die. That's Ooh. really unfortunate. Okay, so obviously always good to win, always bad to lose, right? But in this case, uh, if you're Mike, you're going back to FD if you win the next game. Yep. Yep. That's, kinda, um, that's, oh, that's polarizing, for sure. That's... That sucks, man. There's no other way to put it. Uh, Mike Hayes obviously still needs to win on his counter pick, but if yeah. he does, he's going to have to return to <laughs> the land of nightmares. There's no platforms there, or perhaps one, if you think about it very carefully. <laughs> I think it's a platform if you can't grab its ledge. Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. Maybe. Um, 
What was I going to say? Yeah, but at the same time, you know, Fox is very capable of decimating ICs, especially with full hop and mixing in like running and shine. It's definitely not a totally done deal. For this, like, yeah, for, and for Army. To, to, to Mike's credit, he did not get obliterated on FD. It was a two stock, it was sort of close. But I mean, he still has to win here, and you can see Army coming out the gates with some big grabs. Yeah, you see, now he's being a little bit patient. He's like, all right, <gasps> I'm going to stay in the corner, see what I can do. That yeah. was insane. Yeah. Army's Nana gets grabbed, so he just charges an F smash yep. in front because he knows he has the time while Mike does the up throw. Oh my god. You just have to be grab invincibility there. Why did he do this? I don't know if you can see it yet. Let me I know. saw it. I saw it. Yeah. I saw it. He drops the wobble and then does the tech the speed <laughs> down smash instead. Sure. He's hurting this man. Push point. Oh god. Yeah, Army's, oh. Army's tech boost, now that he's just kind of in read zone, feels better than it usually is. And Army is yeah. a very adept tech chaser for playing ICs. Oh, that's a killer, actually, because he can get down hurt a couple times here, maybe down smash. I like the idea of dash attack. It's just <laughs> Ultimate players would say that move doesn't work. I say <laughs> that move does work close to, which is nothing. Okay, this was the first time where Army's Sopo ends up really, really do putting in work when it's not heavily in his favor already. And that's gigantic because he, he built that full stock off Sopo. And it's now yeah, a that stock a down that has to play. Yeah. All right, Mike's got to not get grabbed here, obviously. It sounds stupid, but ICs are so interesting about how they shark grab for those two seconds of invincibility. Hey, yeah, the SDI, you get it? It sort of looked like a mess up from Army to me because I think the down air always hit. I think it was because of Wispy, actually. Oh, uh, that's weird. Yeah, I'll believe yeah. it. Okay, oh. hold shine. Anna tries to input down air, eats it. We'll have to see right. if Army can put together another good Sopo stock. That's not a bad way to start it. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Mike's going for the snipe, but on this stage. Army can just yeah. like either hit the platform or just rip down before Mike can get up there. You're gonna have to execute this this popo. If he wants to if he wants to bring this back. Yeah. Big and kill. Yeah man, sometimes Nana just dies. Oh, there's the split up that Mike Hayes has been looking for this whole time. He doesn't it's manage to be kill Nana. Nana. Yeah, oh! get up that. Oh, it's the wrong way. And he misses an air dodge right in front of the ICs. Almost gets grabbed. Oh, look at that. Look at how he keeps Popo and occupied and says, Nana, you come to me. Hey, weird angle. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's actually Ooh. so good. Because ICs almost never do that. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. That's it. That's it. That's the game. And he rage 